outrage at the southern border tonight. That's where construction crews are now laying the groundwork for the president's proposed border wall. Team 12's William Pitts is reporting tonight from the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument near the Lukeville border crossing to break down what's behind this controversy. That hill behind me here is what all the controversy is about. That's Monument Hill in Oregon Pipe National Monument, that road that goes right up the side of it. That will eventually be the border fence. And the U.S. Border Patrol invited us down here to watch them blow some of it up. This place is a national monument. It's what people think of when you say Arizona. It's a World Heritage Site and a protected wilderness. There are signs every few feet that say restoration area, help it grow. But one mile away from that sign, construction crews are setting off explosives, building the border wall at the southern edge of Oregon Pipe National Monument. And it's basically in a way to control, safely control the rock uh, and get it done faster and safely. The explosions are fairly small. Crews are not blowing up the whole mountain. They're breaking up the rock to pour a foundation for the new wall. But they are using explosives in what the Tohono O'odham tribe regards as sacred land. It's just like any other place where you have your loved one and they're buried and you go there to have, be at peace with them and memor mem remember them, memorialize them. A handful of protesters made their way to the blast site Wednesday, determined to demonstrate against the wall and the construction. This sounds as outrageous as it is. Um, these lands were designated to be protected for future generations. The Army Corps of Engineers says the construction crews are working to keep the impact to a minimum. You know, things like relocating plants, uh, things like having environmental monitors. The Border Patrol gave out a fact sheet with their responses to the protesters. The Border Patrol says they found no archaeological sites and no new cultural artifacts. As for the cactus and wildlife, they say there's an environmental monitor and an arborist to keeping an eye on them. They've transplanted around 1,000 cacti and lost less than 100 of them. It's blasphemous. I mean, it's completely outrageous. All of these claims are unverifiable. Um, I've been visiting the construction site every single week here at Oregon Pipe. I have never seen crews transplanting a cactus. This is a sacred site, period, the end. You don't mess with it. The president's plan, of course, is to build that fence all the way across the southern border, which would go all the way across Oregon Pipe National Monument and further. The protesters say as long as that's the plan, they'll still be out here. William Pitts, 12 News.